friends, I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. This is our last episode of the vlog, and today we're talking about goal number 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions. Sing it, Gregory. Peace, justice, and strong institutions. Here to talk about it with us is Broadway star Gavin Creel. Hi, Gavin. Hi, Nika. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. You're in D.C. right now yes. where you're doing Into the Woods, the tour, right? Yes. We're having an amazing time at the Kennedy Center and yes. audiences are amazing. I feel really lucky. Well, of course, Gavin did this revival of Into the Woods on Broadway as well. And also, he's appeared on Broadway in Thoroughly Modern Millie, La Caja Full, The Book of Mormon, She Loves Me, Waitress, Hello Dolly, and Hair. Hey, Gavin, did you learn a lot about peace in Hair? Yes. I learned a lot about community and caring about community. That was in 2009 and our show was... I'd like to say instrumental in sort of mobilizing our Broadway community to uh, fight for marriage equality at the time. And it really brought us together and it taught us how really it wasn't even about a divisive issue. It was about people seeing people for who they are and then, and, and, and treating them peacefully in that way. So, yeah. I'd never thought about that before. Like that at the core of peace is understanding that we are all a community, right? Absolutely. Globally. Everywhere, yeah. Okay, so global goal number 16. Peace, justice, and strong institutions. Gavin, what exactly is the goal of this goal? The goal of the goal <laughs> is to promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all, and build effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions at all all levels. Sing it, Gregory. Provide peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development. Provide access to justice for all and build effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions. At all levels, yeah. What this goal is saying is that compassion and a strong moral compass are essential to every democratic society. I love that. Compassion and a strong moral compass. But persecution, injustice, and abuse still run rampant and are tearing at the very fabric of civilization. So we must ensure that we have strong institutions, global standards of justice, and a commitment to peace everywhere. Yes. Okay, now, Gavin, you are on the board of one of the theater community's strongest institutions, which is committed to compassion and justice and peace and inclusion. Broadway Cares. Now, please... For those who don't know, please tell everyone what Broadway Cares does. We have a, a business that's largely focused on self. We came to New York City as a dream to be on Broadway, to, to tell stories, to be actors. What Broadway Cares does, it takes us out of self and turns us immediately into a community. It was founded over 30 years ago when the AIDS crisis was devastating, especially our community. We were losing people daily. And... Broadway Cares was there when the president wouldn't speak the word AIDS, when the government would not acknowledge it. There was such stigma and judgment and pain and death, and no one was doing anything about it. Broadway Cares was formed to help people, families, children, men, women, uh, non-binary individuals who are all trying to stay alive. And they have done that work for over 30 years, raising hundreds of millions of dollars but they've expanded their reach to fund the Phyllis Newman Women's Health Initiative, the Al Hirschfeld Free Clinic. They sent six-figure checks to hurricane relief and tsunami relief and earthquake relief. Anytime there's a major horrifying shooting in this country, we are there on the first week giving our money from us to the communities in need around the world. Yes, yes. What I love is that, yes, they provide uh, the Broadway community with opportunities to serve when it's often hard in our sort of erratic lives to figure out how they provide ways to to help by, perf by doing what we do, which is performing and holding red buckets and volunteering and showing up. And I always say by putting a dollar in uh, one of our red buckets with Broadway Cares, that dollar goes to over 450 different social service organizations, meal delivery plans, homeless shelters, youth centers, pet 
recovery centers. Yeah, no, it's awe-inspiring, really, honestly, how yeah. much Broadway Cares does. And it's powered by an amazing staff, an amazing board. Um, and also just it's the efforts and the love of the theater community. And, of course, it's also the generosity of our audiences who yeah. give so much. And we're so grateful to them. Yeah. So that's one thing that the theater community is doing, the strong institution that we've created. But if we widen the lens back out of New York City, some of the targets of Goal 16 are... The targets! To reduce violence everywhere. To protect children from abuse, exploitation, and trafficking. Ensure equal access to justice. Reduce corruption and bribery. Ensure responsive, inclusive, and representative decision-making. And promote and enforce non-discriminatory laws and policies. Okay, Gavin, so these are big targets. And for you guys out there, you might be wondering what you could possibly do to help. What can I do? Because our problems can seem so giant and the solutions so out of our control that it's overwhelming. But there is always something you can do, something that's manageable for you in your life. If we all just keep trying to do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together, we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. Of course, you can always find a Goal 16 charity like the many organizations that are helping Ukraine right now and make a donation, big or small. You can run for public office. You can speak up and ask your local and national authorities to engage in initiatives that don't hurt people or our planet. And always stay informed and just vote. Vote. Vote! All righty, for the last time, we will end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round! Let's start the clock. Now, what rich character in a musical would be most likely to give away all their money if they really understood the devastating effects of income inequality? Daddy Warbucks from Annie, the King of Siam from The King and I, Ava Perone from Evita, Benny from Rent, or Captain Von Trapp from The Sound of Music? Oh my gosh, all of them? But I would say Daddy Warbucks. What is your favorite snack to eat when you're in the thick of tech? Grape nuts. It's not sexy. Are you sure? It's not sexy, but I love it. What activist or leader would you most want as your high school drama teacher? Oh, Barack Obama all day long. What role have you always wanted to play but have never gotten to play because you were quote unquote the wrong gender? Ooh, Sally Bowles. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? Anika, obsessed with New York City water. Cannot get enough. Right? Yes. Right? If we could generate the power to light Broadway shows through human exertion, would you rather do it by tap dancing, blowing a trombone, or bench pressing ushers? I was going to say tap dancing, but I'm going to bench press those ushers. True or false? Theater makers, as storytellers, are uniquely positioned to shine a light on inequality and injustice and to help rectify it. 100,000% true. Sing Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. Go. Under the sea. Um, under the sea. Ah, da, da. If it is better, now where it's wetter, take it from me. I don't know if that's right or not. <laughs> Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Rats, cockroaches, or red spotted lantern flies? Oh, I'm going with the rats. I, I, no, thank you. Who's been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? You know, one of my favorite people that I get to work with is a woman named Mia Mooney. She's been my dresser for five shows. And Mia and I throw a mean hallway dressing room party. And being able to bring that kind of joy into a building every month or so or whenever, Mia is a joy to work with and we have a really good time together. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Gavin, and thank you for watching, my friends. If you're ever feeling down about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell of people working towards shared prosperity on a healthy planet every day. With more and more people out there innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. Arthur Ashe said, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Let's each do the next right thing and together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.